Hello everybody, Slenderby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog. Today we're going to be doing Zone 3, also known as Spring Yard Zone. Now when I was a kid, I really loved this zone just because of how unique it was, how cool it looked, and uh, also because I sucked so much at Marble Zone, it was always really refreshing to get here because it was a change of scenery from that whole uh, lava thing, lava underground that Marble Zone was, so... Yeah, I really like this zone. I think a lot of people like this zone, too, just because of the unique look and the background and everything. It's also a lot of fun, too. Uh, you gotta be very careful, though, because there are a lot of sections that can kind of take you off guard. Like that, with those uh, spinning guys. And you have to just be very careful, because, uh, yeah, stuff like that can really catch you off guard if you're not careful. Which is also why you don't want to go too fast, either, when you're going through this zone. Also, a lot of tricky enemies, too. We should have enough rings for the special stage, though, because, if I remember correctly, they give you a lot of rings for these levels, too, so... We might be alright there. But, I'm not gonna talk until we actually reach the end, so... Let's get that straight right now. Also, be on the lookout for little sections like these. They have some Renegade Rings and other power-ups. Uh, just look for areas where the wall looks like this. And also when you see these little fenced-in areas, that usually is a pretty good indication of something hidden is somewhere. Okay, also watch out for these purple guys. Roll into their backs, if you can. Also, watch out for these things. Okay, I think I should be okay for the rest of this world. I hope, anyway. Watch out for the crabs. Can I jump? Yes, I can, but I've got to be careful with that purple guy again. Oh, this works too, though. Is this the end? Yes, it is! Alright! Spring Yard Zone number one has been finished. Okay, next special stage. Special stage number five. After this, we'll only have one more to do. So let's not screw up, shall we? I shouldn't be, I should just go along with it and not worry too much, but I can't help it, I've come so far to fail. No, don't go backwards. Backwards is the opposite way we want to go. And yay, I'm at the beginning again. Alright. Okay, come on, let's... Can we please just maybe go this way for once? This is why I really hate the reverse switches. Come on. No! Well, there we go. We at least got past this section. I'm just glad there's not a time limit for these games. My god, I would be taking forever at this rate. there? Yes, I think we are. Yes, there we go. Okay. Come here, Red Emerald. I want to grab you. No, no, get away from there. Get away from the goal. There we go. My god, that was hard. But yeah, there we go. We got the fifth Chaos Emerald. Only one more to go. And another continue for our troubles. Okay, here we go. Spring Yard Act 2. That didn't exactly help. So, we're just gonna go down here, though. 
They give you a lot of rings at the very beginning, probably because of that. Okay, let's try this again. No! Wait, actually, is there a fenced-in area down here? No. I don't know, this might not be that safe. Keep. Okay, yeah, I gotta really watch out for those, uh, little narrow hallways. And all the spike balls. Aha! What's down here? A whole lot of nothing. Also a trap. Gotta watch out for that. Oh, nope, nope, not gonna... Not gonna fall for that, Mr. Empty Space. I almost fell for that, though. You could probably just rush through here, but... I probably don't want to risk that. You know what would be really nice? A bubble power-up. Oh, thank you. Wow, the game actually listened to me for once. Thank you, video game. I appreciate it. Also, can I grab one more ring for assurance that I'll... There we go. Okay. Now let's get out of here before you guys have a headache from me hitting all these, uh, ball things. There we go. I think we're actually almost done with this stage, too, so... Yeah, like I said, Spring Zone is not very long. But you can also do stupid things like that, so you don't want to take that for granted, necessarily. Oh, God. I don't think I've ever been to this part of the level. <laughs> well, hey, the high road, I think, is very good in this case. It allows us to skip a lot of things. Go down here? Yes, we can. Yes! Alright, there we go. That was Spring Yard Act 2. And now we're going to do the final special stage of the game. Okay, here we go. Only one more emerald to collect. And it's actually right here, so... Almost got it, guys. We almost got it. We just gotta get inside here and we should be good. Okay, that's good. This is a good place to be. Kind of. No, don't fall through. Don't fall through. Get back in there. Ah, almost. Come on, it's open! No! You'll never take me alive! Come on, come on! Surely you guys know that we can do this? No! Get away! Ah! Can we just grab the emerald already? It's free. Thank you! Well, there we go, guys. All the emeralds have been collected. Sonic got them all. Unfortunately, though, this was before Super Sonic was introduced, so we're not going to get any godly Super Saiyan powers in this game, but we are going to get a slightly different ending. And that's really all the uh, Chaos Emeralds do. They just give you a different ending. Which I know sounds kind of lame, but um, they didn't have Super Sonic mapped out yet, so we were greeted to that in Sonic 2. So yeah, when I do Sonic 2, we'll see that then, but for now, we're just going to stay regular Sonic. Why? Because regular Sonic is awesome. He's also blue, and he has hair. Blue hair. I know, I'm an idiot sometimes, I apologize. So now we can actually go through the rest of the game without worrying about getting those stages. And, uh, losing rings? That's not really going to be a problem. We still shouldn't lose rings, but 
we don't have to keep them in this case. Like right here. Which, hey, I approve of that. Anything down here? No, this is the bottom. So we're gonna wanna climb up. I also like this music too. Do 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 Ow. Jerk. It's also really nice that we haven't died yet either. No, come on. Let's just fall down here. Thank you. Then Sonic jumps in the air and then grabs an awesome power up the end. Also the running shoes, I don't think we've seen that yet, but basically the running shoes, they make Sonic go faster. And, well, if you haven't guessed yet, the stars, they make Sonic invincible. Invincible from everything except smashing and endless pits. Oh, dang it. I could have made that. It's okay, though. We can make the end. In fact, I believe this is the end right here. No! Well, there's my first death of the project. <laughs> Stupid endless pit. Let's be a little more careful this time. That sound like a good idea to you guys? Thought so. Can I jump down here? Yes, I can. Okay, here we go. We have zero rings, but um, this boss fight isn't too hard. In this battle, Robotnik has a... Well, we'll see it in a second when he actually uses it. He has a spike on the back of his death. Actually, are there any rings around here? Yes, there are. I just need one. I know, it might make more sense to get more than one ring, but really that's all you need. Because you can always just re-grab that ring if you get hit. So, I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, like I was saying before, in this battle Robotnik has a spike. Which he can use to grab the floor under him and you. And when he does that, he'll basically get rid of part of the floor. So you want to be very careful that... He doesn't take away too much of the floor, so you don't die and lose horribly. Ow. Well, this is extremely risky. Thought I could maybe kill him with that invincibility frame, but nope. I got him anyway, though. So yeah, that's going to do it for Spring Yard Zone. It's been fun, and uh, I'll see you guys for the next zone, which is notoriously everybody's least favorite zone of Sonic 1. So yeah, I'll see you guys for that next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Later, folks.